There is a cash out debt consolidation, okay? Cash out debt consolidation case. Refinance cash out. Cash out debt consolidation. Okay. Now, borrower had a loan loan amount. is let's say dollar 120000 property value is 150000 okay existing loan amount is dollar 90,000, right? Then other debts to be consolidated or debts to be paid. So this is the one that will be paid, right? 90,000 plus there is a credit card that has, I'm just telling you balance. What is the balance? Okay. So balance is dollar five thousand. Then plus there is another credit card that has also almost six thousand in the balance. Then there is a bike loan. Okay. That 6, is all six thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there is nine thousand. And then plus there is one auto loan that is almost uh, 5000 dollars and one student loan education loan student loan that is also for 5000 right and there is another one another mortgage uh, borrower could have two properties as well so another mortgage pay, mortgage uh, loan that is for let's say 20,000. Okay. Now borrower is telling it need to be paid off. 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 Everything need to be paid off. Now I will take only this loan. So in this case, 90,000 will be paid off. Then 5,000, 6,000, 11, 20, 25, 30 and 20, 50,000. So plus 50,000 borrower also wanted to pay means total need to be paid total payoff total payoff will be $140,000 what is the loan amount 120 so loan amount will be taken for 120,000 so that means plus closing charges right closing cost loan closing cost loan closing cost will be almost let's say five thousand dollars so what is the total amount 140 to be paid off 120 will be coming from loan right so 120 will be paid here twenty thousand still be paid plus five thousand need to be paid so total twenty five thousand need to be paid who will pay this amount borrower borrower so borrower to pay So borrower to pay 25,000 at closing to close this loan. Is that correct? Now tell me if borrower is going to pay this amount at closing, is it going to be cash out or no cash out? No cash out. But loan has been applied as cash out. But borrower is bringing 25,000 to pay off here. So it is a cash out or no cash out? No cash out. No cash out, right? Everyone agreed to that? Is there anyone who is not agree to that? Everyone agree that it is a no yes. cash out loan? No right? It is a no cash out? No, that is incorrect. Yes. That is incorrect. It is a cash out loan. Because 
you know i am the lender you are coming to me here is your property that has the value of 150000 you are taking a loan of 120000 out of this 120000 the loan which i am paying that is the existing loan on this property that is 90000 so how much money i am giving you in hand 30000 right now you are going to pay this 30000 to th that is not my problem right that is not my problem i am giving you a cash but you are telling no no don't give it to me give it to someone else but i am giving na as a lender i am giving you cash you are utilizing that cash amount somewhere else to satisfy other accounts right or wrong yes yes so sir. it will be a cash out loan this is how the money cash out or no cash out will only be considered based on the property not on the other accounts we lender is not responsible for you to pay it to you know take a money on the house and then utilize take a car or take other no that is not going to happen we will only be take making cash out or no cash out based on the property and now i am giving you another reason or another scenario okay let's say there is i have here two properties okay there is one property one is another property in this property there is a loan going on loan amount is dollar maybe 40000 this is the property which has the value of 100000 right and in this property the um, loan amount exists is almost 40000 done now i am going to refinance this property right i want to refinance this property and i am telling that okay i will take a loan of 80000 on this property and out of this 80000 current 40000 will be paid off plus this 40000 will also be paid off so i will pay the closing charges that is 3000 from my pocket means i will bring 3000 for closing now it is a cash out or no cash out loan cash out uh, cash out cash out now you got the idea right it is a cash out because we are concerned only for our subject property not for other right yes yeah. yes sir so here we are again giving we are paying 40000 this existing loan and rest of the 40000 we are giving to borrower now borrower telling pay this 40000 instead of me to this but as a lender we are paying him so it is a cash out it cannot be go as a no cash out loan understood by everyone right is there anyone who has doubt still any doubt no 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 very good now there is one more scenario okay we are going through a credit report and there we saw or in this prop this is our property okay now think properly this is okay. the property i took loan in 2020 or october 2020 for 60000 dollars right i purchased this property in october 2020 right 2020 and value or purchase price was Hundred thousand. I took a loan on sixty thousand and paid forty thousand from my pocket. Right at that time. Now in October two thousand twenty-one, I took another loan. So it is my first mortgage, and this is my second mortgage. I took another loan on this property. i didn't refinance this loan i took another second loan on this property in october 2021 now in july 2022 i applied refinance on this property right and what i am telling property value is still 100000 right that was purchased in 2020 i have applied a refinance loan amount of 80000 dollars 
Now, out of this eighty thousand, sixty thousand will be paid to from this. Twenty thousand will also be paid. What will this. remain behind? Nothing, zero. So that means I am going to pay closing cost of two thousand dollars again to close this loan. Now I will have one loan only, and these two loans will be closed. Is it going to be a re, uh, cash out or no cash out? Cash out. Why it is a cash out? Sir, it is a no, uh, no cash. Cash. No cash out. Uh. These both loans belong to this property only. Yes. This is the first loan. This is the second loan. But both on this property. So, and I am only paying loan that exists on this property, right? So, what is going to be? It is a cash out or no cash out? Cash out. Basically, these are new, no cash out. The new refinance loan amounts which the borrower has taken has not been used for paying off his personal expenses. So, basically, it is going to the home only in which on which he is taking off the refinance loan. So, that is why. It is no no cash out. It is a no cash out. Okay. Anyone else who is telling it's a cash out? The loan when the property was purchased. Let me give you another Let's scenario. Let's say okay. I I purchased a property in this property in two thousand twenty, right? For hundred thousand dollars, I took a loan of sixty thousand dollars. And I down payment I I had paid forty thousand. So now property is mine. In the two thousand twenty one, I'm going to buy a car, right? Car for twenty thousand dollars. Now I don't want to take a personal or a auto an auto loan, but what I did I took a second mortgage on my property for twenty thousand. Dollars, and that twenty thousand was utilized for this to buy a car. So, is it in reality? It was this loan was taken for property or for car? For property. For property. For, 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 for property. This for loan, car, the second loan, I took a loan against property, but utilized that amount to buy a car. so that loan amount was taken against property but that amount was utilized for my personal reasons right for my for to to buy a car right so it is a personal kind of thing which is not related i didn't do anything with the property i didn't renovate the property i didn't i didn't utilize that money against the property so so what i am trying to say whenever this happens like prop when the time at the time of uh, property right when the property was purchased whatever the loan amount that had been taken that could only be utilized or that could only be considered against the property anything any an uh, additional loan that has been obtained or that has been you know uh, taken from the lender for a different reason on a different date that we cannot consider against the property right many per people do this mistake so this is going to be a cash out even the both loans are taken against property but second loan was not taken for property it was taken for some other need for other necessity for other desire but not for property property was purchased in 2020 only but in 2021 he took this loan for some other purpose for some other cash purpose so if this is something that has been you know utilized somewhere else so basically in the name of this property he is if he is going to pay this amount that means he is closing his car loan so we will not consider this again the property we are going to consider it only as a personal loan so it will be considered we will say okay 60000 that has been taken for property loan that is being considered for property but another loan which you took later right that could not be considered unless in some very rare cases borrower sometime could provide us a kind of proof yes, then obviously we are going to you know consider that as a compensating uh, or or um, using our going to use our common sense we can uh, Say that okay, this prop, this money was utilized for the property, so we are going to consider it a loan against property. But in other cases, no, this will not be considered loan against property, so it will be considered as a cash out.
Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Very good. So that.